to Educational Insights. Last time we got together, we spoke about what makes great teachers, or what great teachers do differently. And there are lots of things that great teachers do. One of the things that I spoke about was teachers' ability to adapt, to adapt to the different student needs and adapt to different student interests. Well, I know there's many teachers out there that may say, well, how am I supposed to adapt to 25 to 30 kids? They're all different, different learning styles, different personalities. That's a great question. I think the answer is, is you don't have to adapt to every single individual learner needs. But you can group people through different interest groups or uh, learning style groups, and then that kind of breaks it down so it's a little bit more manageable. I think really the bottom line is, all educators face tremendous difficulty every day teaching different kids uh, with different personalities, different home backgrounds, different issues that we they really bring into school. a lot of our teachers. We also demand a lot of our kids. But I think the most important piece is that teachers will demand a lot of themselves to be able to go the extra mile to adapt to meet learner needs. It's a tough profession, but it's one that you've chosen and it's the most important one of all. Uh, to be able to teach those that will be the future of our country, to contribute to our society, and that we're going to count on to advance society and culture and our world, that's a tremendous responsibility. And if you're a teacher, you've chosen that It's very meaningful to change one's life, or to have an influence and an impact on someone's life. Not only their mind, but their heart or their spirit. That's important, and as human beings, we need to do that because uh, that's what education is about. It's not just about learning math and science and language arts. It's much more than that. I think tra education transcends that. It's about l helping people grow and learn from one another, to socialize with each other, to learn how to be a good member, productive it's member be of difficult. society. Yeah, it's going to be very difficult, but you're going to change someone's life hopefully you're going to make a big difference. I thank you for doing that, and I thank you for choosing that profession. So keep those things in mind about what makes a great teacher, how to deal with sometimes when we don't feel kind of uh, like everything's going right, and you may feel discouraged. Uh, keep trying your hardest. Keep doing the best you can, because you are making an impact in the world. Next time, hopefully we'll get together, share some thoughts. Please stop by the uh, video page, www.stevedecker.org or www.teachingfortoday.com. Visit the website. Please share your comments. There's a blog page on there as well as the video blog page. There's also a podcast page. So please stop by, listen to what's going on with our shows. Uh, again, we're talking to Todd Whitaker. This past uh, month, past couple of episodes, uh, on his book, What Great Teachers Do Differently. And in January, we'll be talking to Dr. Carol Ann Tomlinson, talking about differentiated instruction and how we can group students together to differentiate. Uh, one of the things that, real quickly, what came out in our discussion when I did talk to her was that you don't have to teach 25 different lessons. That's not what differentiated instruction is. It's much deeper than that. And anyone that is teaching 25 different lessons, I'd like to meet that person because I think it's pretty impractical and it's, it's just impossible to really carry out uh, in an effective fashion. So please stop by the website. Thanks for stopping by and listening to the, uh, the video blog. And uh, we'll see you next time. <laughs>